All right, so I did just get a text from Hans. Our wheel loader is already in. We did have a ferry come through and drop it off. So I'm going to have one of the workers buzz me up there in the truck, and then they can drive back themselves, drop it back off, because that way I can just head up, pick it up, drive it back, and start dumping out some of that silage at least. The camera crew says they're going to be out of here by 5 today, so it's not going to be that much longer probably on today's filming just because... Apparently, they got into overtime last month, and I guess the producers weren't very happy about that. So, I will see you guys all in a little bit once I'm up at the shop with our brand new wheel loader. Alright, we got up here pretty quick. Uh, here's the brand new wheel loader, though. I mean, it's a nice little one. It's smaller than I was hoping for, to be honest, but it should get the job done for us. It's really cramped in here and uh, not very comfortable, but it should get the job done, I hope. And it is very loud, too, if you can't hear that. Hope you can actually hear me through the microphone over the noise of this machine, because even in the cab here, it's pretty loud. But, I mean, it is a... A nice tractor here. Well, nice wheel loader, I should say, not a tractor. Very basic, but that's alright. We don't need anything too fancy. Got a cross with a right for silage. trailer back over to I suppose. So instead of getting a bucket though I did grab a fork. Um, it'll work perfectly for our silage for hay stuff like that but it's gonna hold a lot more than most of the buckets that I could have gotten. So hopefully we'll be able to dump this out pretty quick. I went with a four meter wide one I couldn't remember how wide our bunker was. I was tempted to get a slightly bigger one, but I was worried that if I did we wouldn't fit and it looks like I was probably right. I uh, maybe could have gone with like five meters. That might be a problem. Alright, I guess I'll have to see if we can find some sort of weight that we can hook up to that. I mean, it does have a trailer hitch on it. I don't think I have any weights around that'll hook up to a trailer hitch. That's a lot of weight to put on there. I mean, maybe we'll just have to grab our trailer and weigh it down. Maybe grab that small one, see if it'll help load it up with a few thousand liters of silage or heck, even stone maybe would even be better. It does make me a little bit worried about trying to use that for logs. Our tractor, at least, we were able to weigh the back of it down. But we'll give it a try. Who knows? Maybe it'll surprise us. Or maybe it'll turn into a waste of 40000 But at least it's another machine. One less thing I need to use the International Harvest. Alright, 
or I suppose case if you want to call it a case. But I mean, this is an older model. This is really before case was involved, I think. Right. Let's see. Drop it down so I don't have to worry about tipping it until I start picking it up. Guess it's a good thing I didn't go with the larger one. That's not too bad there. I think it's helping that the trailer's a little bit uphill right now, too. Because at least it forces the weight of the wheel loader down a little bit. I've got at least one more full trailer, maybe one and a half even. So I definitely have enough silage for quite some time. I think we'll wait until the prices get a little better to sell some off, though. And it was about 7000 I made off the last trailer full. thousand liters right now. Just almost took out our water. Almost took out our water pump there. Yeah, so seven thousand for twenty two thousand liters isn't a very good price at the moment. That's okay, we can store it and we can give it a little while here. Sell it off and hopefully get closer to 
50 cents on the liter or something. 500 bucks on the liter. Now that'd be thousand. Whatever. Either way, we will hold off, wait till our price gets a bit better before we sell the rest of it. By that time, we'll probably have another. Another few loads worth at least, because like I said, I think we're going to be filling this up. In fact, we'll see. Maybe I'll collect all of our grass before I finish making all the hay. That way I don't have to bring the tether back out a second time. get a bit of an angle here. Oh! Oh! Far oh, too much weight. This little wheel loader. I guess you guys see what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours here until I lose our sunlight. Combination of heading, emptying out that bunker. Well, probably mostly emptying out that bunker because, you know, we can always head in the morning to probably check the weather, make sure it's not going to rain or snow or something again. But 
I mean, we'll get that emptied out. Like I said, maybe reload it first. Hope I don't crash any of our equipment. Oh. So the camera crew's got to get out of here. Alright, so the camera crew's got to get out of here. You guys know what I'm going to be doing. I'll see everybody tomorrow morning. Have a great day.